Dragonfly is fast. I mean, really fast. In-memory databases are known for speed, but Dragonfly takes it further with a multi-threaded design that delivers millions of operations per second. In this video, we'll build a simple in-memory database from scratch. I will walk you through how Dragonfly achieves that, how Dragonfly is architected differently from Redis, and show you real benchmarks, real-world benchmarks from a cloud setup using AWS. Let's dive in. Most traditional databases like PostgreSQL, MySQL, etc. store their data on disk, which is SSD or hard disk drive, and only pull it into memory temporarily when it needs to be accessed. This is efficient for long-term storage. But disk access is slow compared to RAM. Even SSDs are orders of magnitude slower than RAM. In-memory data store store data entirely in RAM to deliver extremely low latency and high throughput. That means every read or write happens at memory speed, which is insanely fast. Think microseconds instead of milliseconds or more. It keeps all your active data in memory all the time, providing fast access to frequently used data to reduce load on slower primary databases, powering live dashboards and handling real-time messaging, streams, or pub sub channels with minimal delay. By keeping data in memory, these systems can process millions of requests per second with microsecond to sub-millisecond response times. However, traditional solutions like Redis, the long-time go-to in-memory data store, face scaling challenges due to their single-threaded nature. And this is where Dragonfly comes in. Dragonfly is high-performance key-value store written in C++ that stores and manages data directly in RAM. Check out this simple Python code. This is in-memory storage. As long as your program is running, the data is accessible in RAM. Once you stop the program, it's gone. Plus, this method doesn't scale well in modern environments like containers or serverless platforms. Dragonfly takes this basic idea and uses advanced data structures. For example, custom hash tables like the dash table to store millions or billions of key value pairs, spreading data across multiple threads and CPU cores for speed. Dragonfly is a modern in-memory key value data store that was designed from the ground up to exploit modern hardware and overcome Redis's scaling limitations built as a drop-in replacement for Redis. In other words, it supports the same protocols and data structures as Redis, and even memcached, so developers can migrate existing applications with no code changes. Dragonfly was designed from the ground up to exploit modern hardware and overcome Redis's scaling limitations. The Redis protocol, also known as RESP or Redis Serialization Protocol, is a simple human-readable wire protocol used by Redis clients to communicate with Redis servers. And here's an example of the wire. It's what allows thousands of client libraries in different languages, Python, Java, Go, etc., to speak to Redis over TCP. The Redis protocol is proven to be lightweight and fast. Dragonfly sticks with the Redis protocol, RESP, allowing for seamless drop-in adoption. Developers can point existing clients to a Dragonfly endpoint with zero code changes, no new SDKs, and no integration hassles. You can switch to Dragonfly without changing your code and use the same Redis clients, such as Redis Pi or IO Redis, and run the same commands, pipelines, and pops up logic. This makes trying Dragonfly extremely low risk, and that's a huge win for adoption. Dragonfly isn't just another Redis fork. It's a cloud-native, ground-up redesign built for modern, multi-core servers. It delivers blazing fast performance, often up to 25 times more performant than Redis in internal benchmarks. Dragonfly is open source under Business Source License or BSL, free to self-host for most use cases, and is also backed up by a strong GitHub community. Now, before we dive in any further, let's define two important metrics, latency and throughput. Latency is the time it takes to process a single command. Throughput, also called as ops per second or QPS, is the number of commands handled per second. We want low latency and high throughput. That's the goal. One of Dragonfly's strongest selling point is its performance under heavy load. It excels in both raw throughput, that is operation per second, and maintaining low latency even at scale. Dragonfly delivers this massive throughput and low latency far beyond what traditional Redis can handle. In some benchmarks, it's shown 20 to 30 times the performance of Redis, while keeping latencies under a millisecond even under heavy load. And to really see the difference in action, let's look at benchmark results shared by the Dragonfly team. So, on an AWS C6GN 16x large instance, a single Redis server handles about 148,000 set operations per second. Now compare that to Dragonfly. 
on the same hardware which pushed through nearly 4 million operation per second that's roughly 25 times the throughput same workload same setup vastly different performance and it gets even more impressive on a more powerful c7 generation extra large instance that is 64 vcpus dragonfly hit 6.43 million ops per second using a data set of 10 million keys now don't worry if this doesn't make sense i'll break this down with real numbers in the performance testing demo later in this video clearly dragonfly is built to grow with you whether you are scaling up on a single machine or scaling out across cluster unlike traditional redis which relies heavily on horizontal sharding from the start dragonfly gives you flexibility powerful vertical scaling out of the box and clustering support through dragonfly swarm when you are ready to go bigger let's break that down let's start with vertical scaling where dragonfly really shines thanks to its multi-threaded architecture a single dragonfly instance can fully utilize all cpu cores and memory on a large machine that means you can push much further on a single node handling hundreds of gigabytes even terabytes of data and sustaining over a million operations per second for many workloads this eliminates the need for clustering altogether where redis might force you to shard once memory crosses over a few dozen gigabytes or throughput start dropping dragonfly can comfortably carry the load on its own so instead of managing a redis cluster with 5 to 10 nodes imagine replacing it with single dragonfly instance one node one data set no sharding logic no cluster configuration that's not just performance it's operational simplicity now when your app really takes off and a single node isn't enough dragonfly swarm steps in swarm is a dragonfly's answer to horizontal scaling it allows you to combine multiple dragonfly nodes into a distributed system similar to redis cluster but with the key advantages it preserves dragonfly's blazing performance while scaling to massive levels over 100 terabytes of memory and 100 million requests per second across the cluster what makes this powerful is the combined scaling model you get all the vertical power of each node and the horizontal flexibility to add more nodes when needed to put it simply a standalone redis server hits limits fast due to its single threaded nature redis cluster can scale but it comes with complexity and underutilized nodes are common a standalone dragonfly node already performs like a small redis cluster and dragonfly swarm takes you even further with virtually unlimited scale without sacrificing simplicity or client compatibility and that kind of performance jump it's not magic it's architecture while redis starts to struggle under heavy load or scale dragonfly was designed from the ground up to crush those limits it delivers millions of ops per second and keeps latencies in the sub millisecond range even when traffic spikes in many cases a single dragonfly instance can outperform an entire redis cluster so how does it pull that off let's break it down redis is single threaded that means it can only use one cpu core at a time on modern multi core systems this becomes a bottleneck even if your machine has 64 cores redis won't use them to handle more load unlike redis which runs most of its operation on a single thread dragonfly fully embraces modern multi core machines it splits the data into shards and each shard gets its own thread no log contention no thread fighting the shared nothing architecture means each thread operates independently allowing near linear scalability as you add more cpu cores so if you got 32 cores dragonfly uses all 32 processing operations in parallel without breaking a sweat and inside each thread dragonfly uses user space fibers lightweight threads that handle io without blocking it leverages io uring and other linux async system calls to juggle thousands of operations efficiently now let's talk about memory dragonfly introduces a custom hash table called dash table designed to be segmented and smart so instead of rehashing the entire data set at once like redis does it resizes just one segment at a time no freezes no latency spikes it's also more memory friendly in benchmarks dragonfly used 40% less memory than redis to store the same number of keys meaning you can cache more with less dragonfly replaces redis's skip list which is a link structure that can be slow to scan with b plus 3 a structure that is more cache friendly and faster for large sorted sets this one change alone can save up to 40% memory for large data sets combined with smarter memory handling and efficient replication dragonfly stays fast and lightweight even under heavy load all right no performance story is complete without a proper test drive let's talk about memtier benchmark 
It's an open source tool built by Redis Labs that helps benchmark the performance of Redis and Memcache servers. We'll use it to generate load on a Dragonfly instance and measure how it holds up. Now, if you are just experimenting locally, the setup is pretty simple. You can spin up Dragonfly using Docker on your machine or test server. And if you are using Debian or Ubuntu system, you might even be able to install Memtier benchmark directly using apt install Redis tools. Otherwise, you can run Memtier inside a Docker container as well. Once you're set up, you can run a basic read-write mixed workload, something like 50% set and 50% gets, which simulates a typical caching scenario. After the test, Memtier will show you a summary with key performance stats like operations per second, latency averages, and tail percentiles. But I wanted to take it further to understand how Dragonfly scales in a real-world, high-throughput cloud environment. I started by creating a data store in the Dragonfly Cloud UI. Then in AWS, I set up a new VPC, configured all the necessary security groups and rules, and launched a C6GN16X large EC2 instance. This one is a beast with 64 vCPUs and high network throughput. Next, I set up VPC peering between the EC2 VPC and Dragonfly's private network, enabling secure, low latency access between the two. After connecting to the EC2 instance via SSH, I installed all the required build tools and packages to get Memtier benchmark running. From there, I was able to simulate real-world traffic patterns and observe how Dragonfly performs under serious load. And the results were pretty incredible. Let's talk numbers. In the first run, I have 8 threads, 50 connections per thread. And Dragonfly pulled off over 600k operations per second with average latency under 0.73 milliseconds and a 99th percentile latency below 1 milliseconds. In run 2, I have 16 threads, same connection setup. And we jumped to 784k ops per second. Latency went up slightly, but still impressive, about 1.19 ms average. This shows that increasing client-side concurrency pushes Dragonfly harder, and it holds up well. Dragonfly itself can be configured to use more threads too, which scales even better on larger instances. In run 3, I have 55 threads, 30 connections each. And this one crossed the line. 1.13 million operations per second. Yes, we hit the million mark, but it came at a cost. The average latency jumped to around 45 milliseconds with P99.9 .9 latency nearing 150 ms, which isn't ideal for a real-time in-memory use case. I believe this run pushed the limits of the 50 GB Dragonfly instance I was testing. The real sweet spot for this setup is probably just under 1 million ops per second. And if you need more headroom, scaling up in Dragonfly Cloud is just few clicks away. And that's Dragonfly. Whether you are handling millions of requests per second, caching terabytes of data, or just looking to simplify your Redis infrastructure, Dragonfly is built to grow with you. And the best part? You don't have to rewrite a single line of code to try it out. Thanks for watching and if you found this helpful, drop a like, share it with your team and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives on the tech that powers the modern stack. Stay fast, stay curious.